And the pull from the bottom one. Successful for March. Going approach here from the Boca. Blocks it out with the Fissure. And going to be happy to kind of try to pull the aggro his way. But oh, good move from March there with the sleep into the arrow. Some heavy harassment here. I don't think they have enough firepower to go for any, for any sort of finish, though. Uh, there's a finish, though. It is top lane where we're going to be seeing move. Pick up that first blood. Milan is still in a bit of trouble here, and they get it done. It's Fenrir sapping it down with the decay. The slow farm for now. He just has to hope he can build up a good amount of farm and then make it out of that mid game really well. Top, we're seeing a bit of a dive. Good commitment from Muda. Looks to go for Fenrir. Looks like he should be able to get it done, and he does. He can chop down right there, and the undead one goes back into the grave yet again. For sure. Milan's Tiny trouble, trouble, though. Top lane. Daggers out. The Icarus oh, dives. Back. Comes right back. All right. He's not scared. He knows he won't get hit. Like, Maybe he can literally to... outrange it. Well, if he didn't get into a right-click fight, I guess they were hoping for an uh, arrow to come Big in. But go. meanwhile, up in front, move, getting hit hard, and there comes the Grim Reaper. Slices down and takes out the timber saw. This looks like both. That's very rare. Both teams want to ward the same side of the map, but two Radiant Wards top, two Dire Wards top. Uh, the tombstones dropped and it's making Daystorm kind of second guess on their commitments. But meanwhile, mid lane jump in. Veil set up with that. He tries to doppelganger out. Does manage to make it up north. Mark looks to step in to help him out. But now with the haunt coming in, it's just going to be way too much. The tree flies forward. They're going to get the finish there. Who steps in to help things out. XXS oh, yeah. is barely surviving. He gets hit with the soul rip and he's going to be fine. But Moo will not let him escape. Finally able to bring him down. It's a two for one trade. Who now has to walk out the other side, but meanwhile, Tiny continues to clean up. Jump, fail, toss, combo coming out with everyone else's company here. And as they look to battle things out, it is going to be XXS claiming that power. Thinking about chasing here a bit, trying to go for the snappy finish on the Fenrir. They will be able to get it with the assistance coming in from Moo, but will they finish him off? For it right now. Toss combo comes out. Reaper slams down Moo, and those are going to be charges down. Ryle tries to slip on out. March going for the Valiant Grip is going to be a little help in assisting on that finish. But here comes Spectre. Silar is happy to chop him on down. Ooh, he does get burnt. Nice snipe right there from Milan. It may cost him his life, though. He gets body, body, body blocked from the Boca right now. Not letting him buy it at all. I think for Milan, it's kind of, you give, you get, well, it splits the gold, but you get that solo kill pretty much. Milan solo kills a tiny and gets level 10 off of it, almost level 11. And it's going to be so hard to kill him. March going to be wincing for sure once the Haunt comes out with that Radiance. Okay, jump committed to the bottom. Immediate up and down. Boom goes the birdie. Tiny picks that one up with ease. March looking to set up the sleep arrow, but it's not going to be there. Dunk between the two as Moo jumps into play. It's a one for one trade. Buyback comes out from Milan, says, I want to get my egg in this fight right now. Oh, Reaper Scythe comes out and is going to get the finish onto Ferev. It's a two for nil trade. Aster, but they're not done yet. Looking to dive in. Now with the egg, trying to finish him off. Moo looks to go for the finish of the tombstone. And with the grip, they should be able to get the finish of the necro. That's not too bad. I'll it's take a, that. Looks at a two for two. Yep. Not only that, you also get the, I mean, it is a pretty big deal. You get the 200 gold from Tombstone. That's Burry are just barely navigates up and over. Anyone comes across, they're just in trouble. Yeah, oh, they, I think they saw Brow, but do they have detection? Because it's Moonlight Shadow? They have one sentry down. Guess who's going to run into it? Might be Milan. There's you know what? If you lose Milan for this full four-man heavy rotation only, I think that's okay. Meanwhile, yep. back and behind, a grip set up, and they might be able to snipe down the Necro. Good uh, grab from behind comes out from J-Storm. But now, with the Haunt coming out, things get a bit frantic here. They are going to be able to take out March. Dunks there, only onto one. Bryle's going to be able to doppelganger back to the high ground to make it away. Continue their chase. Moose slipping across to the other side, looking to get the Boca, possibly from behind here, but Aster are out. Arrow's not going to find anyone. The Boca's going to be able to safely leave. Yeah, they'll get it down. Both teams will get their trade. Are they going to race for it here? There's an eight. You do. You cannot the race this. Yeah, you yeah. cannot race this if you're Aster. You've got to get, get back. back. And before they can even get back, it's five. But he's thinking about making a mild move here, possibly for XXS. If Fisher blocks him in, but Bryle's not too worried just yet, obviously. Still holds the Aegis. Can't doppelganger out. Does so there. Now jumping in from Moo. Looking to take it right to the Necro here. He's going to be forced to. Uh, this got the Ghost Shard. It is totally on defensive mode. Jumping forward, though, with the dunk. Way. But it is just not good enough. And now it's going to be a grip on the Tiny, which does get obviously quickly cancelled out. The egg's going to be there to oh try to make it pass from it, but they can't stop it at all. And here comes Bryle and company. J-Storm suddenly moving in and going for the base. Bryle is just playing out of his mind. Now they're, they're going to kill Fender. They might kill the boat again on the back. They also oh. get the Reapers on front. That was like okay, almost the end. Bryle 
Well, man to work with, though. And here comes XXS. He's looking to go for some revenge here. Real nice turnaround coming out from Aster, bullying back Jake Storm and keeping him outside the base. And they will be able to clean house here. Full HP. This this is going to be a tough kill. Do you even go for it? I don't know. I don't think you do. I think you just let Bryle leave. But we'll okay. see. Does come to me. I'll stun you down at his spot. Bryle thinks about possibly considering a chase onto him. Hits him with the side defusal, but he's got to worry about the Necro and the Spectre here. Oh, no funny juke play. Was not able to make it up with the Doppelganger, unfortunately. It's technically a six-man wipe. Because this Spirit Vessel is the only thing that's like gonna destroy Necro. Because we saw when he pops that Ghost Rift, he got he got soul ripped from 25% to 100% just the soul rip healing him. Oh, jump in combo, easy pick. Rev here in the top uh -oh. lane. And now you, you kind of feel the, the scales here. They get a tier uh -oh. three, and all of a sudden these pickoffs are coming. Yeah, this game is feeling close now. Much, much closer. But are all rotating up top, though, on J Storm. Will they find anyone? Doesn't look like it. Bryles here in lane. Fenrir is watching from the outside. But we do have J Storm here as well. They could think that they're good to make a jump on the Bryle and then quickly get caught out. But J Storm do show themselves. Even though from behind, look at this move. Man, it's the duck, it's the kill. Hold on. Gone. Same goes for Marsh. And Aster are back. And they're going to take Bryle too. Oh All right. Goodness. Aster are here and they're good. Okay. Yeah. Like he does nothing in fights. And that's yeah. a big difference from his Marana and the TI open qualifiers. Comes J Storm looking to possibly rec reclaim their turf. Oh, they're Look oh at the positioning goodness. of Aster though. They may manage swinging from behind onto Aster. Can they get the jump? This is their best chance to try to pull this game back if possible. They run the egg there. is there, but they're just going to run right out from it. Here comes the Haunt. A defensive dunk, but boom! Instant burst though, comes wow. out from Moo. This might be it for J Storm now. Heavy Sunray burst, but Silar is able to turn and look to go for the finish on the Mar uh, onto uh, March XXS with Mega Kill as he gets that takedown up for Rev. Moo though looking to sweep in and try to tilt the favor back gotta, their way in this fight. He's got to get the finish onto XXX. Can he get it done? Yes, he can. All right, something favorable. Beginning to go back the way of J Storm here. Scan, but they were not approaching from that side. They're coming down and through the river. I don't know if J-Storm are going to see it there. The Moonlight Shadow comes out. They try to pop the dust from out there, but it's not quite close enough. Moo sees him coming. They're right, yeah. stalk and move. Bryle wants to move in, and uh, that's what we see. Aster pull back. Aster do not want to get caught outside of each other, and they're already going to be losing Fenrir. And now they go back to the Roche. Yep, they're super scared because they, they pop the Spirit Vessel on Tiny, which means the Necro had to use Lotus Orb on him, and... This Necro doesn't want to fight if he can't use Lotus Orb on himself, because he will actually be useless. So they have to be careful with these cooldowns. And look at this, what a look. That's a nice timber chain, nice move, Toss combo, Reaper Sight comes out, but it's not going to be nearly good enough. The follow-up dunk will be good enough, and Moo's going to be going down. Bryal very yeah. low, barely able to make it back in the way with the egg there to help out. He's going to make a safe escape. They try to chase him, but he's out the other side. Meanwhile, March, nice grip from the high ground, locking the Earthshaker in his place. Milan trying to make it back in the way, but can't. Meanwhile, inside the pit, it's forever being taken down as Aster take control back. But buybacks are going to be coming out from J-Storm. They cannot let this one slip away. Now a buyback wow. from the other side. Very valuable moment for both teams here, and they just dump the money. This is just, uh, I mean, it's only 21 to 28, but these fights are just, they're intense. It's just straight up five on five. No one's farming, no one's slip pushing. They all want to be there every time. Tournament life oh, on this right now. Is he crazy? This is real frisky with this one. Out of position, XXS tries to head up north and be able to make it away. The chase is there for Moo. Meanwhile, Bryle says, I'll just take the Roche. Gladly picks up the Aegis. The cheese is still there. They managed to French, oh, could be able Moo to pick it up, back. but they lost Moo. And like you said, he has no buyback if they wanted to get back to the swing of action here. Meanwhile, though, Bryle does manage to clean up little Fenrir on the way out. He'll even grab the Tombstone, too. He doesn't do anything. He, he actually would, just doesn't. Like, you would need to have money to have an like, ag. Have a glimmer, an ag. Like, just even just a glimmer, but he doesn't have that. And as well, the Earthshaker, it just isn't that far to force step and a fling. And that, that's where it feels. It feels like Milan is just the, the one support in this game who's changing it. Yeah. He'll be back in just a second oh, with the Earthshaker. See, but yeah, before exactly. that even happen, XXX is going to go down. He oh, should buy bro. back, though, if he wants to keep his hopes alive in this tournament. They do have a dunk defense still available. No buyback coming out just yet. He's so thinking them, about it. Think oh, about going not for anymore. It. Illusions hitting him. Yeah. Whoops. Fortification. That's just good sense on Ryle. He's just zoning him back, seeing who's coming in. God, it's so scary because they know the Keeps Phoenix has another egg because of the refresher shard. Like, it's hard to go in. They're going to try. Not there. Two. Have to get the gatekeeper and force it back. The arrow actually hits Vector. 
She's stuck in her spot right now. Just for a little bit. Crimps the follow up. It's really good. But the scythe does come out. Looking to go for the victory for the eight. Grab March inside as the scythe tried to come out. Bails him into it. Necro now on the verge of going down. Has a die back. Two minutes out. Nice dunk though. Does catch him. Is there enough damage? Yeah, there is. With the tiny coming in, he's just swinging it home right now. Can this. Ryle, do anything? Yeah, let's just move. Big question. Ryle. Focus should go down here. Fighting within it right now. Pushing it on forward. Is going to be able to get the swift takedown of Boca. Now looking to go for the tiny next. Boca does buy back. Ryle says, this might be enough for me. Doppelgangers to the low ground. Looking to make his escape. But Boca is on the chase. Six slotted. If you get a, a two or three man dunk with Boca, the ulti from Siler comes in. They are going to wipe up these fights so quick because this is the owner. And look at the middle. Trying to go for a quick. Knife on the move with the creeper yeah, side, but the save of oh, the egg, the save of the egg, but they are going to be able to crack it and bring it down, so both of them will get dropped, but Ryle couldn't make the most of it, they simply can't, it's Aster's time now, there they get a beautiful is. jump and a beautiful set, and Ryle's frantic to try to be able to make it away, up to the high ground he goes, but the chase is on, and Aster get what they want. I, I'm surprised they didn't just let move die. Honestly, like he was already pretty much dead when Milan blinked in, and now they're losing. They might lose a rack. All right, well, Run. one buyback, one tier three, and already Aster are taking a step back to reposition. Tiny's incredibly low. They will be able to easily swarm onto him and finish him off. He's out for over two minutes. Uh oh. The two of them, but you no, know, no buyback for her shaker. Well, that Nerves are out the window. Everything's pretty much out the window. You're just, you're just playing to. I don't know. You're just playing Dota. And Jason are playing inside the base. They get the first racks down. We'll get another. Shift up towards the top. There's no dunk defense for another minute. Yep, they know. They know his buyback's on cooldown as well. Oh, look at this. The Sunray damage on Siler. They got Egg now, too. So much. This looks like it could easily be two racks for Jason now. Yep. Milan. I say that, but. Milan really, I think honestly when Milan gets 25, you get those three supernova hit counts, it actually changes this game even more for them. And well, now we're seeing the problem with Spectre. What does Spectre do? You have treads, what else do you get? You get a Scotty instead of your treads, like there's nowhere else for her to go, and that's the problem. Oh, the arrow does catch oh, her. My All goodness. right, Perev waited for his time, and the time is now. Gets the setup, brings her out, does have a buyback, but that is quite unfortunate there. There's the ulti. They just want to get out. J-Storm is running. And, uh, can they return back? Oh, Flare! Right there! And the the out. Nicely done. J-Storm taking it back to him. Moving a lot of damage. Fighting on forward. It's over. Stave, and they get her down and get it done. Both are going to be out without a buyback on this one. And J-Storm may have been able to do it. Can they clean out the rest? Oh Tiny. God. Staggering his way inside. He has nowhere to run and no more mana. Attempted fissure slide dunk does come out from Baboka, but it might be just too little too late for him. He'll get cleaned up potentially with the rest. Wow. And it looks like this one may belong to J-Storm after all. Marsh. Holy moly. Marsh motherfucking Dota. Woo! How did he just get that? Damn. What a perfect... And this is what we, we talked about the late game scaling course. You don't think of Bane as one, but being able to, you know, just negate a Reaper Scythe that could just turn this whole game around. Guess what? Marsh will do it and... They're looking to end the game. Not the best building hitters. Brow's like, oh, must hit quicker, please. Win right. game. This game's stressful. Must. Aster, we got to send them home. Yeah. Aster, don't want to let it happen. Dead. They're going to just let the game go all the way. You got to. And then kill the tombstone. Fenrir, I don't even think Brow wants to kill. He's like, I don't want to kill another tombstone. Just let him live. And they get the good game. J Storm wow. does it with some just clutch plays in the end from. I mean, we we're. I mean, Perez doesn't have the best part, but he has a gigantic arrow. Yeah. Which March makes the, the the play of the game with with that nightmare save and.